Hey, it's Sizzling Popcorn, and uh, welcome to the, uh, I don't know, the simulator pits, I guess. All the different uh, yokes and stuff that I've collected over time, over the last couple of years. But uh, we're here today for a video on this. IP camera made in China. It's definitely not an IP camera. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is this video, we're going to unbox this. Then in a, the next video, we'll assemble it. The third video, we'll set it up inside the sim. And then the fourth one, we'll do uh, a little bit of playing around in DCS world with this uh, and uh, show the, the controls. But this is from Winwing. It's the uh, F-16 Viper uh, throttle and stick. Uh, this is the uh, F-16 EX, because there's two versions. There's the E and the EX, but this is the EX. I paid for this myself. Uh, Win Wing didn't send it to me. They didn't ask me to do a review or anything like that. This is my purchase. So let's get this box open. All right, so we're gonna go up here, top, slice that, slice that, and slice right there. All right, so gotta get everything out of the box. Oh man, there's lots of boxes in here. So, ooh, what did he send me? Did he send me any extra goodies? That'd be nice. Um, so this looks like the, uh, yeah, it's the F-16 EX uh, grip, the joystick. So I'm gonna put that up top. Uh, we'll open up all the boxes individually here, but let's I was going to put my head camera on, but then I was like, it might be, uh, it might be seeing more than what you need to. <laughs> um, that's, that's number two, number three. We're going to stack them all up on here onto the desk where we'll open them up. And then we got a fourth one here. We got this uh, first box. Uh, the F-16 EX grip, let's, let's, uh, it's very well taped up. It's made so that, I don't know, nobody can, <laughs> you can't accidentally rip it open. <laughs> and let's see. I was almost, I couldn't find my knife and then, uh, I was gonna use uh, like a screwdriver or something, makeshift, and uh, I'm glad I found my knife. Because there is definitely a lot of cutting here. Is there like drugs or anything? <laughs> no. So this actually ships uh, straight from Canada rather than coming in from China. So they they actually have a, a distributor here in in Canada so we don't have to pay the duties and the taxes although that's proud and the shipping and that's probably it's included in the price anyways but for for US US you have to go through their uh, uh, global warehouse uh, that that says Ni hao ni hao ma wo han hao ta xin ni tai tai ma hi uh, how are you? I'm good. Is this your wife? Thank you. Bye bye. No, this is not my wife. But you still can't have her. <laughs> uh, and let's go over here. I'm not sure what the uh, what the camera on my head is gonna look like, but. Uh, the batteries are starting to die. 
All right, so right away we've we got a box inside a box inside a box inside a box. It's like a like those uh, Russian dolls there. Uh, it's like one one stuck inside the other. All right, so that box. Check it away. Woo! Look at that. So that's the grip of the F-16 Hotas. Uh, from Wing Wing, what you need, Windows 10, 8.1, or Windows 7. Well, I've got 11. Does that work? Uh, DCS, works in prepared 3D, X-Plane, FSX, Flight Gear, or other flight simulator software. One year limited warranty. Woo. All right. Uh, supposedly comes with the stick, the EX kit. So it's a, the extra buttons, and then your uh, kits pack, kits pack, and uh, more tool pack. All right, let's. And I made sure to get some kind of a cushion because I don't want to scratch my desk up because we're gonna be dealing with some metal. Nah. Yes, there's still gonna be some. There's still gonna be some plastic, but it's. All right, well, uh, put that over there. All right, now that I see you're not seeing that much, I'll make sure that it's uh, pushed more to the middle. And here we go. Ooh. So here's the uh, Peace. Very well packed. Got some uh, methamphetamines here. No, <laughs> as if uh, there's. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but uh, it's gonna be uh, important later on. But uh, I didn't go with an extension, and I didn't go with the MF. SSB which because in the uh, in the F16 the stick uh, is is based off of rather than the the movement it's it's just uh, by force ooh man that that feels uh, yeah this feels solid like listen listen to that Ooh yeah. Ready to shoot down some some bandits. Oh yeah, nice uh, thing. So that uh that's probably a bunch of Chinese to tell me uh to watch out when I screw it all together. You even got like plastic on the uh Yeah, this is yeah, this there's like two detents on the on the trigger. One and then fully pressed in. But we'll we'll go through all the buttons uh, in another video. But we're uh, unboxing it for now. So we got our tools that we need. That's good. Chuck that. Uh, next box. Actually, let's get that. Over there, boom. And another one, boom. This is now tell me uh, BB22 J2 to base. Um, I am thinking this is the the base for the for the joystick. Uh, so this this one comes with the shaker. And uh, so, so the grip grip comes with the with the shaker and the. Uh, uh, but yeah, I I didn't get the uh, MS MFSBB whatever it is because I, I was like I I wanted to be able to use this with with other uh, 
uh, fighter jets, whether it's uh, an F-18, 15. And what I might do, what I might do later on is get the, uh, get another Orion 2 with the uh, F-15 uh, EX because it, the EX, I think it's it's got like 56 buttons on the on the throttle, not on the on the stick, but on the throttle, and that will be uh, compatible, like be useful for a wide range of uh, of aircraft. And why an extra Orion 2? It's just because I think it's it's about like 200 Canadian uh, to get it rather than just like it's going to cost more for the unit to buy it just on its own than to get the uh the throttle grip and the orion um because they you, you end up saving on the on bundle so i i'm thinking that way also i i won't have to spend the time to to change the uh the throttle grip in and out because that can take like I've seen a video where it's like a five minutes going from one to another but that can be a pain in the ass very quickly yeah so the uh, <laughs> the the head mount ended up dying so in this box we've got the uh, the J2 uh, joystick base 2 we've got the desktop uh, fixing plate uh, kits pack for the base and we also have the USB uh, cable we don't have an extension nor the damping kit or the cam and spring kit or the MFSSB uh, kit which is pretty much ma making it uh, based off of force um, we'll see We'll see later on about the shaker. I think the shaker is already is already in here. I, th I think this ends up being the shaker. But uh, we'll uh, we'll move on here. Uh, so we've got got our USB. Put that aside. We've got our uh, suction cups for the mounting onto the uh, desktop. And then here we've got the, uh, the big mo. It's the Moab. <laughs> uh, okay. It is nice, very nicely put in here. Ooh, what is this? Uh, but yeah, very nicely, tightly put in. And when I take that out, like, it's it's definitely heavy. Uh, and then we've got our desk, desk mounting plate. So we will put this together in a separate video. I'm gonna put that off now to the side. Because then we'll uh... now it's time for the for the throttle side of things. Ooh. Uh, again, this is the EX, the F sixteen EX. I think the just the E, uh, it's like anything else. The the E is the base, and then the EX just has more buttons, more functionality. But again, well packed, very well packed. And what I ordered this, uh, I think on Saturday or Sunday, 
and I got her on uh, Thursday because it's right here here in Canada the, it must be Toronto or Brampton area where like I was thinking Vancouver but no it's uh, it didn't have to come across the country so what we've got here we've got glass no um, in the box we've got the the T grip so this is all the parts for the um, the detent for the um, for the F16 and if you don't know the F16 the, the throttle is a little different it's unique compared to all the other uh, fighter jets and um, it is just one engine. However, you can set this up so that you you can run both engines. You're you are going to be starting both engines at the same time. So that's why uh, I'm thinking about getting a, a 15 EX. So the Strike Eagle, what they call the Strike Eagle Two, which has like again. 54 buttons on there. So now we all we open up the box and we got another box. Alright, so let's get this out. And then in here we've got the F16 handles. We got the kits pack one, kits pack two. We got the Kids Pack 3, the Tool Pack, and the Nano Glue. Ooh. Nano Glue. So that's that's the finished product. Well, it's not the finished product, but it's a, an image of the finished product. You know what I mean? All right, so let's open this up. And right away, we've got some bubble wrap. And this, I would say, is like hard plastic. It's not, uh, here, it's, no, it's not, uh, it's not metal. But, uh, so this is the block 60. So then you've got your off, your idle detent, your mill. Uh, Benjamin, that's where the mill is, and an afterburner is after that. And it goes to uh, max afterburner. So if uh, I, I saw someone, I think it was uh, with the A10. Uh, with the A10, there is no afterburner, so they set it so that uh, mill was a hundred mill was a hundred percent. Of the, the the throttle, so you, you can always really you can customize any kind of uh, controls in DCS. Like you can get a profile and then completely change it, and you know I don't know you you can put the the detent as your your brake if you really wanted to, but you'd look stupid. But uh, you know you you can do that. You can look stupid if you want. So these are uh, some of the the braces. And then we've got now this is uh, yeah it sounds more metal like a probably aluminum. And I I can see my I can see my computer right now. Discord, uh, my mods are, uh, Air says like, come on, let's go. I want to see it. And Mark, he's like, come on, I want to see this video. When's it coming out? I'm like, I'm doing the video right now. <laughs> so, uh, you got some, uh, screws and stuff to put this together. Uh, some tools, because I got some, but I'm not, I'm not the handyman. I don't know, is this just, uh, is this the nano glue or is this a uh, tape? I don't know. And then we've got, again, the Moab. Ooh. So, 
Actually, let's we'll just open this up. Yeah, I like that. So, uh, man, that is just like a whole bunch of buttons. Uh, you got like antenna uh, elevator. You've got uh, speed brake. Uh, dog fighting. Uh, yeah, there, I think it's like three way. Uh, Manual range, uncage, and then the VHF. Uh, so your radios, uh, yeah. There's there's a lot, and so so right here, that's your that's what you're gonna clip your pinky finger to in order to move from detent to detent. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually quite impressed. Quite impressed with the with the the, the quality, the the feel of it. Um, just I find this part just seems uh, like a little like small, but uh, I think it'll, it'll come out uh, pretty well because you, you don't want like something that's like you know like uh, like thirty inches, like you know, like you don't want a picture frame on your desk. Uh, yeah, so gonna put that uh, aside over here for now because this is what we're gonna assemble first in the, in the next video. Uh, so I want to make sure I've got all my parts, and then uh, now I've got to move my my camera uh, camera from on top of the box. This is our last box. So what this is, is the, uh, it's the Orion 2. Orion 1 is obsolete. The Taurus is their big, uh, their big unit. That pretty much has to be uh, like hung kind of deal, and then I think there's a there's a there's another version that's smaller, but that's uh, I think now they're just doing the Taurus and the Orion too. So now we've got the, in the box is the T2 Throttle Base 2. I don't know what's this marking for, but uh, I hope it's all good. And tape on the sides. This one's a little more compressed. And again, box inside of a box. And it says, please visit the, uh, the store for the downloads of the SimApp Pro, user manual and uh, measurements. So here we've got our T2 Throttle Base 2, kits pack, 
and the uh, USB cable. Just flip that over. I think they spend probably a good uh, 50 to 100 bucks just in boxes. Uh, but it, like I said, it is very nicely and tightly uh, packed. And it was weird because today I was down here and I was thinking, all right, I know it's out for delivery, but did, did the uh, mailman deliver it to the door? Has, have they already gone by? So, like, I looked and I saw... Uh, okay, it, like it's still out for delivery, like it hasn't been delivered. But then I hear ding. Normally, I can't even hear the doorbell, but I had my headphones off. I had the door to, uh, to come to the basement. I had that uh, open, so I heard the the ring went upstairs, and presto, it was the guy. Uh, so we got the USB cable. Uh, we got. The suction cups, so you can suction it to the uh, to your desk. Woo! Oh, look at that! It's a beauty. Uh, how are we gonna do this? I was thinking about the, uh, they had the PTO2, which is not in stock in Canada. Uh, Win Wing said the, uh, the 15E, the 15EX, and also the PTO2, they're, they should, uh, they're expecting a shipment into Canada end of October. But maybe by the time you're watching this, it's past October, it can be different. And if you're global shipping, like if you're in the US, it's global shipping, so it doesn't matter. Everything has to come from China. Right. So we've got our, uh, yeah, you've got your off, idle, mid, mill, and max uh, detents. And then you've got uh, buttons specifically for the F-16, so roll, heading, select. Uh, and then, so it's a three-way, pitch, altitude, hold. And then there's the AP off. Yeah, so here it tells you what it is for the F-16, and then also for the F-15, it's slightly different, different, uh, uh, different uh, controls within the DCS or whichever similar you're using. Advanced mode, you got heading, course. Oh yeah, and you can push these, panel lights. Yeah, because this is all gonna illuminate anyways. Uh, there's, yeah, and then there's the A10, uh, arm, another three switch, jettison, drop your fuel tank, uh, this, decrease, increase, dial, HMD, you got your air to air, and then your uh, air to ground. Another slider. Then up here you've got your, your flaps, uh, full, half, and auto. Park and brake off or on. Landing gear up or down. Uh, there, there is no off. 
you know, like a, like a Boeing or Airbus, you can have it at like off. No, there, there's not, not in this case. Uh, wing fold for if your aircraft has a, a folding wings. So like the F-18 uh, hook, again, F-18. So then, again, the Orion, Orion 2 base is pretty much universal for all the other um, throttle um, throttles. Like we've got the F-16, you can get the uh, F-15, you can get the F-18. There's no F-14. Tomcats, uh, but I think yeah, I was thinking there would be the War Warthog, but uh, that is uh, I think that's a Thrustmaster thing. Uh, then you get uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So what we're gonna do is uh, in the next video. I'm not sure if it'll be released right after this one or if it'll be like a day or two later. But if you're watching this later on, hey, it could be uh, you, you can watch all four videos one after the other. But uh, yeah, the next video we're going to uh, put the uh, the throttle together. We'll also put the, the stick together and uh, get that done. The third video will be uh, the the software and uh, getting the settings set for DCS. Uh, I will also look at uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator because uh, it, it, it'll still be useful, but to me, it's going to be overkill for, like, if all you played was Microsoft Flight Simulator, it, it, this is a little overkill because there's stuff you'll never ever use uh, in like because you can't use weapons. Uh, but uh, but if you're into DCS uh, or some other military uh, combat uh, simulator, yeah, this this is going to be a great addition to your uh, to your equipment. Um, the, yeah, and then the, the last video will actually be some, uh, some DCS world, uh, gameplay footage, but, uh, we'll get, we'll cross that row once we, once we get to that point, but that's it for this video. If you liked it again, make sure you smash that like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because, uh, the, the model here is to fly higher together. And uh, this is a, a, a place where you can uh, learn about equipment, learn about uh, flying, flying better, uh, flying better than me, uh, but also uh, having uh, camaraderie with, with other uh, sim pilots, whether you are a pilot in real life or not. Yeah, it doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter if you're brand new or if, uh, if, if you're like a veteran. It's... Uh, all, all are welcome. So, yeah, it, it'd be great, greatly appreciated if you subscribe, and then you you all get uh, notifications of when the next video comes out or when I go into live stream. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.